Jonathan from Everything Everything. Two years I've been working on these songs, songs basically, and uh, it's just amazing to finally get it out. It's, we've been working on it for ages. Um, all the recording process, the mixing, the mastering, the decisions that had to be made. Finally, it's out here. We've been waiting for it since we were really young, really. Before and, uh, we, long before we knew each other, really. We, we, we always wanted to make an album, and now it's finally here. So it feels. It's kind, it still doesn't really feel real. Um, it's very diverse. It's um, there's a kind of upbeat side of us that, of our singles that you probably heard, may have heard, um, and there's also some more deeper sort of more restrained things more going considered, on. More considered, more yeah, adults, I suppose. Yeah, and there's also some far more ridiculous things on there um, <laughs> where the, it's not restrained at all. So uh, very diverse. Um, lots of there's just lots of depth, really. Lots of things you can get really stuck into if you really want to. Uh, we've put the lyrics up on, on, our, on our own website. And Come, in the record. Yeah, definitely in the record. Um, I think the lyrics are really, really important to what we do and because of the way they're delivered, a lot of people don't know what the hell I'm saying um, a lot of the time and I spend a lot of time, an awful lot of time getting them right and working on them and they're as much as, they're just as important as everything else we do and I don't want, the, don't want people to not know what's going on. I really want people to hear what I'm saying and get into lyrics because there's a lot of levels you can approach them from there's lots of double meanings and hidden things and, and you know personal things but also kind of global things or you know things that affect everyone in there one is uh, who's gonna sit on the fence when I'm gone and who's who's gonna sit on the fence when, when I'm, I'm done. done those are the two options that you have so anything else is just uh, tawdry um, I was going through all the lyrics after we would made it looking for an album title we wanted to we thought Taj Mahal was a good title for a while. Um, went against that. A lot of people disagreed with us. Yeah. Howard, uh, Howard from Take That emailed us. He found us out of the blue and just said he, re he really liked us. He really liked all the. He, he said he'd been waiting for a band like us for yeah. years. We've got all the rhythm that he's been waiting for, or something like yeah. that. And uh, we were just gobsmacked. Absolutely it's, it's gobsmacked. Howard. He's the best one, uh, apart from Gary and the others. <laughs> but apparently it's Gary's into favorite. it now as well, so yeah. we're uh, absolutely, uh, we do, absolutely it's, it's, look, amazing for with us. With a totally straight face and honest heart, I can say that you know we do think Take That are pretty phenomenal and to have yeah. that kind of, the, just the, the wealth of experience that they have. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's no benefit to him to, to you know, seek us out and make contact with us and come and see us. It's absolutely amazing yeah. that he would do that. Um, we really respect them as a group. We actually really like their music. Yeah. Yeah. On MySpace at the moment, it's going to be there a week before and a week after the album release. So the whole thing's there if you want to check it out. Um, if you like it, you should probably buy it. Definitely should buy it. <laughs>